Mm -mm. Bishop Sycamore is a is a high school football team that was they play they duped ESPN mm -hmm. into playing into airing their football game on Sunday, and they played the number one high school football team in the country, IMG Academy. IMG Academy is a football factory. Basically, uh, you get a scholarship or you pay tuition to go there for room and board and you do your work online and then you practice like eight hours out of the day on your, you know, football skills and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. so they cannot, they can know IMG Academy can no longer play football athletically competition like in the state of Florida. They can't play against other teams in the state of Florida to try to win a state championship. That's how bad it's gotten for IMG. And also, they have a national team and a varsity team. The varsity team is basically their JV team. It's not on the national team. Okay. So this team went out and played a team called Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore, again, was a quote-unquote, like a prep school, a prep high school. But it, turned, it turned out they were a fake high school. Uh, it was a fake football team fake practices half half the players were 19 and 20 they were they were already in their college ricardo it was bad oh wait 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 and we're 36 28 yeah the team was mainly made out of uh like high school and college dropouts people who like uh just couldn't pass college or something just stuff like that but how do you register or how do you even how do you even get to that point to where your supposed school on ESPN is fake? Is yeah, fake? Like how, is that, how did how did it get by so many people with it being what he's saying? Like, you know what? We should really look into this thing a little bit more because something's not adding up. Oh, that's hey, whoever their their um, advertising guy. He is a finesser. He's the ultimate finesser. Well, ESPN for high school games because this is how everybody find out. Mm -hmm. Don't actually book the high school games. ESPN had a third party marketing company that books the games. Okay. So Bishop Sycamore uh, Athletics, whoever reached out from Bishop from or Bishop Sycamore reached out and told that third party company that, hey, we have a bunch of D1 athletes, uh, like a bunch of guys with all, you know, scholarship offers and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're playing IMG Academy. Now, mind you, nobody in the country wants to play IMG Academy. Nobody. If you go, it's, it's it's teams that want to play, but it's like, eh, they're playing them as like their last game of the season type, you know. Like no one's really caring trying to play IMG. So this was essentially a, a, an exhibition game. No, oh, this was a real this was a real game for IMG and Bishop Sycamore. So, yeah, supposedly Bishop Sycamore, if it was real, yeah. Right, right. If they were real, this was gonna count the records, but I mean, so it still counts for IMG. But uh, what I'm saying is. Um, this is this was the only way ESPN could get IMG on TV with a game that they thought was going to be solid. Now, right. when they got to ESPN, the announcer said they they get you know once the game or once the score got to thirty to nothing, the announcer said, "Hey, to our understanding, Bishop Sycamore is supposed to have all these D1 talent athletes and all these kids." But to our knowledge and our database, we couldn't find half of these kids on there. They, <laughs> that's what they said. Ricardo, this got so bad. You know, do you want to guess where they played the, the actual football game? Where? They played this in Ohio, but you, do you know what's in Ohio that's important to the NFL? Uh, The Football Hall of Fame? Yes. Yeah. They played on the Pro Football Hall of Fame field. <laughs> this how this is how bad it got, man. They made it to the Pro Football Hall of Fame field on national TV on ESPN, not on ESPN two, not on three. three. Yeah. ESPN that feature that that ESPN uh, the number one channel is on ninety six million homes worldwide. Yeah. 96 million 96 million people saw this when they aired this like on saturday sunday mm -hmm. Sunday. they aired this on sunday sunday okay on bloody sunday that's a new thing bloody sunday we'll call it they are they aired this. i need to look more into it because we really don't care about 
them airing the game in particular. I just want to know like how this team, this supposed Bishop Sycamore, got to this point. <laughs> oh no, Ricardo, it gets worse. And it gets worse. And what's funny Uh-oh. is they they lost that game, what, 56 to nothing? And they're grown men compared to like these 17, 18, 19 year old kids. It's worse, Ricardo. Two days prior to this game, they played a game on Friday night. They played two games in three days. Mm-hmm. They played a game on Friday night. They only lost 19 to 7. And then they turned around and played this game on Sunday and lost 58 to nothing. Oh, that's not the worst part. Again, st- I'm still going. Their head coach, Ricardo. Their head coach is wanted right now. He has an arrest warrant out. I he mean, got fired also. If anybody's going to be in charge of this fake team, it would be somebody who was probably wanted by who the fugitive at this point. So that that kind of that kind of lines up. He's he was wanted for fraud. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because this sounds like fraud too. <laughs> he was wanted for fraud, and they show his they show his face on national TV, and you just see him at the water cooler drinking water, and I'm like, you know what? This this is gonna be the worst. This is like fry fest. This is terrible. Wait, Bro, so, this is honestly like a movie type deal. Like it you is. only hear this about in movies. You we need a, a Netflix documentary on this soon. Yeah, for real. You need all of it. Talk about last last chance you. Come on. Last chance high. <laughs> This last is some last. Out. This is some last chance type ish. This is really some last <laughs> last chance. <laughs> right. And so an article came out by Complex that stated that um a guy a former player said yeah all this happens we were sharing helmets uh they didn't take us to class you know he was told when they recruited him he said we were going to be on Netflix and then they took us to this facility that had a football field and all this type of stuff and. You know, we thought we were going to go to school there. Turns out we were in a hotel for five months. Just, you know, living scot-free. It got so bad they were robbing Kroger's, Walmart, uh, Mergies, Trader Joe's. They were robbing places to eat. What, what? Wait, so they were set up in hotels to do what exactly? Like, why were they there for such a long period of time? To play games? No, no, no. They Practice were- football, play football. Yeah, right, right. They thought they were trying. They were po- they were Bishop Sycamore sold themselves as the IMG Academy of the Midwest. Okay. So they wanted to be like IMG, with a boarding school slash gotcha school type uh, of. So you tell me when people got there, when they were like, "Oh, I'm gonna go to Bishop Sycamore and you know play football with them," they get there and realize like, "Oh, damn, this isn't what I think it is. I right. got finessed." Right, and I can't leave because I probably don't have a car. I probably have barely have any money because I'm like 19, you know. Right, but this mm-hmm. they came out was 15 at the time. What? So parents, so parents, so your parents, so think about this: your parents flew you out. You're from New York or New Jersey or from Texas, and you fly to Ohio. Yeah, 15 year old kid is not gonna have money. To no, fly a plane, you know, get on a plane. And their parents probably find some fake like waiver saying that. So this happened. It's gotten bad. They be- they didn't have a logo. Uh, let me let me play this real quick, bro. What's crazy? They don't even have a website. Like if you look that school up, it's not even a real place. That's what's crazy. No address, no nothing. No nothing, nothing. Oh, it's a motel That's- address when you look them up or something like that. Unless they changed it in the past two weeks, because I remember seeing a TikTok about it. Like as soon as the game happened. Somebody was like, I looked them up and there was nothing. They even showed there's like, there's nothing, nothing. Hold on, y'all keep talking. Real quick. What is going on? So, what, but what was their, I guess, what's their end game? Like, was it just to finesse these, like, these young kids to think that they were signing up for like a legitimate school? Nobody or, knows. You know, I'm trying to figure out like the reasoning. Like, like, what is the reasoning to like, like the fake everything? Well, what I was, what I read was the coach was getting funding from the AME church, mm. African, uh, African American, uh, what is it? AME, AME, Episcopal Church. It's a, uh, ah, I can't think of Episcopal or something like that. Yeah, Episcopal Church. Thank you. So that's what he was getting his funding from, from the church, and he, they said he finessed them too. Bro, they ain't got nothing on their uniform. It's literally just a black jersey yeah. with a with a number. Black jersey with a number. 
Cooper. That's what they had. Uh, let me see if I can find you the pregame sheet, Ricardo. Maybe. When I first saw the first meme about it, like, like, nah, like these guys look old. Was somebody was watching the um, broadcast on ESPN and they posted it on like I think it was Twitter or something. And it was this guy coming out the game and he took off his helmet. And he was just running out the game. And some guy recorded it and he was like, bro, you can't tell me this, this guy ain't 30. You can't tell me this guy ain't 30. And then like, after that, I just saw a million things about it. Where like, all these guys are like 23 and up, blah, blah, blah. Wait, but Duncan, Duncanville was supposed to play uh, them too? Yes, they canceled. Duncanville ISD canceled. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Oh man, these guys really have a legitimate they schedule not lined be a part up. Of this. They really had a schedule lined up to play all these different schools. Uh, Max Preps rated them. They had the fourth hardest schedule in the country. From from MaxPreps.com, they had the fourth hardest schedule in the country. Now let me play this uh, one clip. This is the pregame speech by the assistant coach. I don't have his name. Uh, I don't want to know his name, but this is the previous speech by the assistant coach. Here correctly, if you're not ready to kill, if you're not ready to take a life, <laughs> do not go out yeah. there. <laughs> that was the what was it, the the offensive coach was it uh, the assistant coach? The assistant coach. If you're not ready to kill, if you're not ready to take a life, then don't go out there. <laughs> Get, oh. This is what I should. This is what people should have known. <laughs> These are grown men. For real, is a this is a stick up, <sighs> Josh. Oh. Amen. Over here talking about Cam Newton about to jo- join Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Got bad. It's gotten bad. I'm not. I'm not surprised this is happening in 2021. Um, I joked with some people saying, "I'm honestly, I'm honestly surprised." Like, bro, how did nobody know? Like, when they pull up. Or you look at them, or even like when they're when they're practicing before the game, and mo- most of the time you have your um, your helmet off when you're like practicing, like with that twenty minutes before the game starts. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me you ain't seen those guys and be like, oh, that guy's not eighteen, or that guy's not seventeen or nineteen. Right? Yeah. But the thing was, they didn't practice. They just showed up to the game. They didn't even practice. That was it. No, they said they practiced a little bit, and the place they practiced was in public, their public parks. Uh, like they have vid- they have uh, videos and um, pictures of them practicing at like, like say, uh, where, where's a public park in Tyler? Like Birdfield, yeah. Yeah, like Birdfield, yeah. They're just practicing out there. That would be incredible. This is terrible. Oh, I see the picture of the coach, Roy Johnson, over here sipping on that, that Gatorade that bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to start a soccer team. All right, Ricardo's going to be the coach. The fake soccer team? Uh, what, 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 what do we call ourselves? The Tyler what? Uh, Trident. I don't know. It's going to cop a Bishop Sycamore uh, t-shirt. <laughs> we need one. I know, right? Let's just all show up one day wearing Bishop Sycamore t-shirts. <laughs> I seen a hoodie with the X's and O's, you know. So, but yeah, that's that's a, pretty much all we got. Hold on, Ricardo, what is this beat, man? It's uh, Benny the Butcher, five to fifty instrumental. Benny. Well, yo, I, I, I previously Trick Daddy was like the best thing I heard so far this week. No, that Bishop Sycamore so it's probably better. Oh yeah, bro, that that thing is crazy. Like, oh, how did they, somebody let that get so far? Yeah, it was great, man. I've been, I mean, me, everybody in my group chat, we've been laughing for the past since it happened, since Monday, since I found out on Monday. Like, that's all I've been laughing about. Like, like but what's crazy is like you hear about that all the time in like summer league AU. You mm-hmm. hear about it because it's easier to get away with an AU. Mm-hmm. But when you're at, you're in an actual school going against actual schools, yeah, on ESPN, yeah, oh, that's crazy. 
and ESPN. People are people are upset at ESPN. Hey, like, how did y'all not know? I mean, I'd be upset if I was the president of ESPN. Like, okay, how do we not know about this? Yeah, how do we not know this?